Um, I know you don't like Donald Trump, fair enough, um, but was he wrong in what he just said there? Everything about these prosecutions is designed to make Mr. Trump look good. If the Supreme Court is going to consider whether or not the protesters that have been arrested by the government in connection with January 6th should be prosecuted under a law written, Sarbanes-Oxley, for the Enron economic dispute. Now we have the question here. You have Mr. Bragg trying to enforce a federal campaign finance law that was a misdemeanor on which the statute of limitations had run out until he tried to connect it with the crime of campaign finance violations. It's an astonishing exercise, not just here, but in the other cases of stretching the law. You think about as Donald Trump is going about this, right? And he's he is a master showman, as you pointed out. He shows up at the bodega where the guy stabbed the robber, and now he's holding his press conference. You could hear the chants on and on and on and on. Meantime, President Biden is responding to Trump's allegations that his Justice Department is behind a lot of this. Uh, today, uh, Mr. Biden gave an interview to our next star partners in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Take a listen. His lack of ethic has nothing to do with me. I have nothing to, I have not once talked to anyone in my administration about Trump's legal problems. A lot of them occurred well before I became president. And so I have nothing to do with that. I'm wondering if when he says, you know, that I have nothing to do with that, his ethics have nothing to do with me, you know, he's beneath so many Americans, if that doesn't do more harm than good for Mr. Biden. It is an odd attempt to distance himself from his administration. Article 2 of the Constitution is very spare about what the presidential duties are. They are to take care that the laws are faithfully executed. These are laws that are being executed against Mr. Trump. As you suggested a moment ago, I'm not a fan of Mr. Trump's, but I, I'm even bigger fan of the rule of law. And this looks has the smell of selective prosecution top to bottom. Now we get to who the jury is, right? Picking a fair jury in New York for Donald Trump would be difficult. Seven people so far. Um, one juror posted a video on social media showing people honking their horns, celebrating President Biden's victory in the 2020 election. Judge Juan Merchant, um, who reasonable people can agree is a very uh, ardent Democrat, his daughter's a Democratic activist, said the woman gave, quote, reasonable explanations for the videos and insisted she could be impartial. Uh, again, if you wanted to design a situation for Donald Trump to exploit it for his own political ends, could you come up with a better one? No. I mean, when this all started, Leland, the question was, how can Donald Trump possibly campaign for president when he's in court all the time? The answer is constantly, incessantly. All the cameras in the country, it seems to me, are pointed to him, and Mr. Biden is a bystander. Um, this is something that we are going to now see an awful lot of over the next six months, which is the map that is on our wall, the race to 270, which in, in and of itself is all that matters, right? 270 electoral votes uh, after the November election. Uh, and we have it set up of what will be the seven swing states, Nevada, Arizona, Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, and Georgia. How much of Trump's play for victimhood matters, and in what states does it matter the most? It only matters, if it matters anywhere, it matters in those seven states. Leland, 36 states and the District of Columbia have voted the same way in all six elections in this century. So the battlefield is really narrow, and, this, and the stakes are very small margins of difference in all of these. The small margins of differences were gonna, are going to come in a couple of different groups. The New York Times pointed out that among African Americans and among Latinos is where we are seeing the biggest uh, move. Um, so if we take Nevada and we go ahead and give that uh, to Joe Biden, we leave Arizona in play, large Hispanic population, leave Georgia in play, leave North Carolina in play. Um, we'll, we'll split up uh, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, uh, and Michigan, for example. So let's give uh, Wisconsin uh, to President Biden will give Michigan to President Trump. Uh, nobody is at 270 yet. Uh, Georgia, Pennsylvania, and North Carolina, the African-American vote, um, significantly there. We have had people on this program um, who say that the prosecutions of Donald Trump 
especially among African-American men, help him? I shouldn't be surprised. They have an adversarial relationship, in many cases, to the criminal justice system. They just don't think it's fair. The, the recent death of O.J. Simpson reminding us of how the O.J. Simpson trial really highlighted for a number of Americans the suspicion of the criminal justice system. All right, and with that, I have given Arizona um, to Joe Biden, just for lack of a better reason than Carrie Lake uh, seems to be uh, having her own issues out there. That leaves Georgia, North Carolina, and Pennsylvania. The African-American vote significantly uh, plays in all three of those states. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.